All right, hello everybody and welcome back. I am Cassus Plays and today we are starting yet another Assassin's Creed game, continuing our Assassin's Creed Let's Play of the franchise. We have completed one, uh, two, Brotherhood, and just earlier today, Revelations. And now we move on to Assassin's Creed 3. I will say this is one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games. I know a lot of people, it's not their biggest. I know, but for me, Connor as a character, the locations that you go to, meeting and hanging out with Benjamin Franklin, all of that I absolutely love. So I'm very excited to return back to this game and check it out once again. Also, What's going on, Liam? Hello, hello, and welcome. <laughs> Ass Assassin Creed. Exactly. Thank you for the uh, the sub there. Or, or, well, actually, the the like. Appreciate it. But yeah, I think it's about time. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the game. It used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Sometimes both, but we never took them seriously maybe we should have but i'm getting ahead of myself better to start at the beginning with the abduction of desmond miles my son this boy had no ambition no direction no plans for the future what he did have was a heritage one he chose to deny it nearly cost him his life he was captured and imprisoned those who took him believed he could help them find something the apple one of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do. And the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide hey gene thank you for the like there the span of a few appreciate days. it it worked we think we hope Soon thank you thank you will know that ominous date fast approaches december 21st 2012 none of us knows what it'll bring only that this is where they want us to be when it does they've been guiding us in their own fractured frustrating way these voices from the first civilization the ones who came before. A precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him however we can. His name, is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. What a intro. We're here.
we made it. At the end of Revelations, they also pull up to <laughs> to this area. So, and then he goes back into the Animus in Let's the car. Go. We just finished Revelations a little bit earlier today, so it's very fresh in my mind. Um, one second, I do want to just check two things real quick. Because uh, it seems like the audio is not actually playing through for um, for some notifications. So I just want to make sure that they're actually coming through the correct area, and then we should be good to go. Um, but yeah. Uh, where is the actual audio itself? I go to this. I think I know where where I have to... Um, to fix it. Oh my god, everything is so small, I guess. For whatever reason. This game, for whatever reason, messes up a lot of my, uh, not anime, um, what's it called? I'm gonna test this real quick. It shows as if it's playing. I don't hear anything. Why wouldn't I hear anything? The resolution gets like ginormous when you're in this game. I wonder if I can set it to um to win uh borderless. Let me actually see. Yeah, we do have a borderless option. Now did that actually change anything is the real question. Okay, let me test this one more time. Perfect. All right, now we can hear the uh, alerts audio because it, it wasn't coming through basically, but now they will. With that said, let's go in here, go into the cave. So this is where they, the Ancient Ones originally lived, supposedly. Um, can we run at all, or are we only walking right now? In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. I hope the uh, keyboard and mouse controls are the same as they have been for the last few games. I think we're here. Think we're here also. God, we're sliding down. Wait, can I pick that up? Oh, okay, they changed it. It's shift to run now. It's going to take a little bit to get used to. In the last few games, it's been holding right click to run.
the key. You must find the key. Son? Sir. Here we go again. Desmond? Do you hear us? Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Easy enough. I love how they always, like, every time they're like, oh, while you were in there, I, uh, did this thing, so now, yeah, graphics okay, updates. Okay, Desmond, <laughs> let's practice climbing on these objects. It's always, like, plot, uh, for, hey, we, uh, added some new things that you can do in the Animus, but it's also obviously because the game has been developed, like, two or three years later. But it works. It definitely works. Free run your way through this little obstacle course. Nice. Keep it moving. Honestly, the, these areas are very these bright. These are right optional now. objectives that raise your synchronization rate. Perform an right, error assassination. Uh, okay, F is not the same the button. Templars. Uh, where's my? Do I even have one? All you have to do here is okay. jump the gap. Okay, we're just knocking them out. Why is it? It's actually, like, legitimately hard to see these objectives here. Jump over to the marker. Okay, we're starting to see buildings. The landing. Synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Fantastic. Very beginning. Uh, let me see one sec. I want to check um, settings real quick. So, I, I honestly forget what I was about to check now. But. That's all fine there. General, maybe? Oh, right. Um, some of the volume was, like, kind of low. So, I'm going to bump some of these up. Okay. That should be good. Sir. Sir. James Holden. Right, sir. Yes. 
Fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? Front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Invitation, please. Sequence one. Shall I take your coat, sir? Nice video. Hey, what's going on, life with Johnny Boy? Gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your thank you, seat. thank you. <laughs> find a seat. Ah. Oh. Good evening, sir. This How wonderful. Way, oh, my apologies. My apologies. Let's take our seat at the opera. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? B to trigger Eagle Vision. The stairs are watched. We need to find another way out. Hey, Johnny Boy, thank you for the uh, sub on YouTube. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Find a secluded area to climb. Very well. Very well. A thousand pardons. My apologies. My apologies. It's actually kind of like dark in here. Hard to see. All right, hold it. Shift to climb. It's gonna take me a little bit to get used to the climbing mechanics. I've been holding right click for all the Assassin's Creed games before this one. And now they finally change it to shift for climbing. I'm surprised, like, you know, in every other game that we've done, when you're on the ground or when you're climbing, there's always a guard that can see you from the ground climbing. So I'm amazed how these people haven't seen me. But you got to have some plot armor one way or another, I guess. All right, here we go. The clock. Is there actually a mini game? Uh, move the mouse left and right. Move the mouse up and down to locate and hold. I don't even know how I just did that, but I guess that that worked. Whoops. I've got a bit of stage fright. I'm in the charge of the blooming cheek. The Beggar's Opera. Jeremy's really little uh, messy. up here Hey 
repay them. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. Oh my god, that kid's eyes. That is terrifying. Exit the Opera House. Somebody takes my balcony! Hurry! John, please! Over there! That's the one who made the murder! That man there! Seize him! The man was killed in the upper balcony! Oh, but, my! Uh, I, I've done no wrong! I, I swear Search him! Any weapons? I beg your pardon, madam. No, 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 please! 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 Let us through order! We must have order! Sir! Try to remember me, I can't let out They're like literally, these people were sitting up here. There's no way they wouldn't have seen me climbing. <laughs> okay. Move, he's friends. There is no danger. Imbecile. Yeah, I'm trying to get out of here too. <laughs> Everybody's putting their they're trying to fast walk past each other. They're all putting e their hands on each other and pushing And how was the opera rather dull truth be told Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or... Our enemies, should they find it first? They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. Travel to command. America, you say? Although a job of this magnitude will require more. Well, all right. Yourself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. Nice. I know this is the remastered version, but the game really does look like 
pretty good personally very um the coloring is all over the place for like brightness and and darks so we're making our way to boston atlantic ocean day two oh yeah this is the one that uh starts to introduce some uh ship mechanics there's a guy floating in the middle of the ship <laughs> you can see him for like a second there it's crazy too we're going to uh starting out in boston some fresh air <laughs> do me good My doggo is going to cry a little bit because my wife just went to the <laughs> store. So you might hear some borks in the background. And then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of You're course. Fine. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Though you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. <laughs> Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. off if the captain sees the hell us. with the captain and the hell with you mills who side you on anyway it doesn't matter what you think well damn again if you are yo what's it going on laser what is that that's i think i'm afraid of you no how you doing? Also, Native Zan, thank you for the uh, for the follow there. Yo, how's it going? Do you <laughs> Never. It's been so long since I've seen people play this. How do you like these odds? I'm currently doing a uh, a series playthrough of majority of the Assassin's Creed games. Uh, I started with one, What's then the went to two, this? Brotherhood. Captain, I finished up uh, Revelations once, earlier today, These we were and now we're on three. How about you same the here, Nato. Same here. Jobs instead. Doing good. How are you? I'm pretty good. About. Going pretty good today. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. <laughs> nice. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. Hey, what's I going on, Michael? Some of the men intend to mutiny. What's really? your favorite what AC surprise? game? As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Uh, I'll answer in just a second because here. Because if they do intend when the to betray, is over. I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. <laughs> Look at his head nodding like that. Good day. So, honestly, 
was my favorite AC game so far. If I was to go original, like not recent games, Assassin's Creed 3 is my favorite because I love Connor and I love the locations, this time frame, everything about Assassin's Creed 3 I really like. Other than a few extra things that I'm not going to talk about for spoilers wise. Um, but recently, I believe it's coming to a head. Valhalla was, has been one of my favorites in a while. The only problem is it's very, very long. But it is very, very Assassin's Creed lore heavy. Um, so that is my honest take. He's got a rations again. Claims we're not, not having second thoughts, are you? But I absolutely love the setting, the world, all pretty much everything of Assassin's Creed 3. I know a lot of people it wasn't their favorite, but for me personally, I just really resonated with a lot of aspects of it. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Speak with the doctor or the cook. Speak with the cook, I guess. Won't be serving for another couple hours. Some biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. Actually, I've come with a question. What's that? Have any of the men been acting strange recently? Said anything that struck you as out of the ordinary? The boys cry about the rations as if there's anything I can do about it. But beyond that, I ain't heard much. My advice, go find James. His ears are always open. And where might I find him? Right behind you, actually. He's the one sitting on the barrel. Speak with James. All right. Are you James? Hi. Atham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. Oh, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Look for the clues at the stern. What does my right click do? Does it even say what it does? Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Say care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? Investigate the noise on the lower deck. Why would anybody throw cargo offboard? Hmm. He's got a rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that you should be. Analyze clue. I think they're setting a trail. Most curious.
Atlantic Ocean Day 33. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! A warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks! Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin, or do I need to have you escorted? Secure the hatch! Hayton. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. It doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the Opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. Oh. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? God. Oh God. Got him. There it is. I told you to stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? They'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. <sighs> then I will. All right. All right. <laughs> the guy gives up so easily. Atlantic Ocean later that day. We need those ropes secured. I told you this was madness. On yourself. I'll fix your sail for you.
Oh God, one of them broke. Secure it. Secure the ropes. We need more speed. Loose the sails. Hate them. You take the foremast. James, to the main ah, mast with you. Yeah. Oh god, this is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. There goes their ship. Atlantic Ocean Day 72. Oh god. Two months and two months and a two and a half months. Oof. Meet the captain at the bow. The bow. Make ready for our arrival, men. Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. All right, let's climb to the top, I guess. Climb the foremast. Ubisoft presents Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered Journey to the New World
Boston 1754. So it's about 250 years later Master Kenway. from Ezio's Master life. Kenway. Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city. <laughs> Charles Lee. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives, I thought. Yes? Out with it. Forgive me, sir. Doggo. Okay. I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say, but I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. British regulars. So we made it to Boston. I was just Boston's there. Literally city. like a month and a half There's ago. All manner of things to see Actually, like three weeks ago. Once you've settled in, I suggest For you PAX some East. Time to walk the streets. I was right here, chat. You might right at this on, exact <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I was I was there actually. Use tab to open up the world map. Okay. Okay. Find a general store. I would love to get another Assassin's Creed in this time frame. Or like 1700s. Ah, oh, that would be so cool too. This accursed city will be the death of me. Benjamin Franklin. troubled, friend. The Benji. That's because I am greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but you seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. Well, that was interesting. Find a general store. Oh, we found it. Buy a sword and a pistol. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Get into America and go buying a good old American firearm first. First 10 minutes. <laughs> nice, we got a flintlock pistol and a normal sword. Hey, well. Exit the shop and equip the purchased weapon. Just F to open the weapon wheel and select it. Large sword. Press num three in a direction to to the quick inventory. Oh, okay. I see. Long range, rate of fire, short range. Okay, and right click is to aim. I see now. We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, 
but the rooms are spacious and they do not cry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Aye. William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the Order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause, and you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. I love getting into these more modern ages, Assassin's Creed's. It is great vi uh, visiting the olden, the older ones though, too, for sure. All right, I'm assuming we're gonna talk to uh, Charles Lee for the next mission here. New weapons in the shop. Yeah, there we go. Open door. You lying. Cheating, no good, son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Ah. Uh. Do you require anything further? Only privacy. This way. A lot of new weapons in the shop, apparently. <laughs> Smoke bombs. New email received. Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad. As is all mine. A bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. Follow Charles Lee. Johnson's errand. Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. I don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Well, let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout, take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half will fall before they've even realized what's happened. Get into position. 
Ranged Wait, weapons require ammunition to shoot the amount of ammunition remaining. Blah, 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 blah. Pick up a musket. Shoot the guard at the entrance. Go on now. Am I supposed to kill those guys too? So much surprise. Rip. <laughs> Ah, crap. Oh, my God. The one hit kills are sick. Fall back. Fall back. We'll be safe inside. What now? We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. Reload. <laughs> oh. On with the show then. Guess they wasn't so safe inside after all. What the? Lay down your weapons and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. Oh god. Where's my weapon? Your kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. Atham, this one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parched. A shame, so back to the green dragon. Good old looting. I need a drink. Nice. I thought that was like if you press one, two, or three, it would assign your weapon. Oh, wait, was it numpad? Ah, uh, that's what it is. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. We'll take care of this rebel. Wait, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. Them bodies is sure to have loot on them. Would be a shame to let it all go to waste. Are you mad? In case you've forgotten, we're in the midst of something. Ah, why you always gotta blow his board of fool?
Of course. Reload. Hurry. Whatever's in this chest is worth it. Come on now. It's just a few fools with knives. They ain't so tough. It's not the scoundrels I'm concerned with. Why does uh, Charles Lee sound so scared? Actually, a little nervous. Took that hit. Oh, my God. Nice. Reload. You know what? Probably faster just to run up there. Music's really intense. That seems to be the last. <laughs> Oi, Mr. Johnson's gonna need to double my pay after all this if he expects me to keep at his side. There you are. My thanks, Master Kenway. No. Tell me what it is you need. The images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanye and Gahaga in Auditon. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. Thomas! Whoa. Rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. I suspect we'll be here for a while. Mission complete. We missed the obje optional objective, but that's fine. Whatever. All right, let's get back up uh, top here. Start the next mission. Mr. Charles Lee. Evening, gentlemen. <laughs> Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow on you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink. How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <sighs> oh. I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. <laughs> Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Church will. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done.
Out we go. Surgeon. Wonderful. Charles? Sir? It's like, very well. I guess that's one way. Seems like we're not the only ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Come. I'll show you how. He's drop on Ben Church's neighbors while hidden. Orange indicators, and I missed that. Must not be killed. Should we write his family, do you think? Not our business to meddle. Even if we've the best of intentions. SSI or social status indicator indicates your enemy's location. During the day, no less. And the public. Target is suspicious. Once it's filled, the meter becomes red and they start an investigation. Move between the two civilians to blend in with them. Scandalous behavior from one who aims to be a surgeon. Not likely he keeps up such carousing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him. He damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. Her map and mini map are revealed. Uh, okay. Some of these things always keep going too fast. I can't even read them. I don't know what it is, but like this, this game runs so good right now. And not only that, but it looks good. And the, um, the animations and everything, it, it feels like such a huge jump from, uh, revelations to this game. And it makes me even more excited for like unity. Cause I know unity, um, originally that game had a lot of issues, but Nowadays, it gets a lot of praise for looking so good and playing good. So it, it makes me even more excited for that because I haven't played Unity in a very, very long time, too. Same thing with uh, 4. Climb the church and synchronize. Start climbing the window. Okay, there we go. I'm so fast. Synchronize. Learn to take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. Definitely suffered a decline in character. Indeed. 
All manner of Arabs and natty lads now walk the streets. Why, just earlier today, I had a run-in with some. Do tell. It was down by the church. A group of men comes rushing through when one of them suddenly falls to the ground, all torn up. I thought about going to see if he needed help, but a look from one of them changed my mind. Probably for the best. Those aren't the sort of people you want to get mixed up with. Analyze clues to reduce the zone. So without cause, we'll set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. And forget it. The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. He's dropping a moving group of guards. So he's head to church, but one way or another, the debt is He's going angry now. He's three times ahead. Well, what do you think they're planning? All I know is it can't be good. Cut a road. Probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat. <laughs> Good call, that. See, Charles? We'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses, and we begin to know the world in a different way. Careful. The place is well guarded. We need to slip past them. Will he climb up here with me? Yeah, it looks like he will. Locked. Hmm. I'll have to find the key. Wait here. Okay, so we have two options to pickpocket from. Try to get this guy's. I have no idea how he didn't see me but i will take that i will take that right there <laughs> here we are then i had to be at the perfect angle for him not to see me why must you always make these things so difficult benjamin merely provide me with recompense and all shall be forgiven I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very gutch. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe I'll take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe.
baby. I take his tongue, put an end to his waggling. Or maybe I take his cock, put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. Now, hold a moment. Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas! I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my no. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <clears throat> You'll get lucky and pass out. Though I dare say I'll do me best to ensure that doesn't happen. A little bit from here, a little bit from there. Make myself a nice keepsake. Just like all good artists. Just a quick little swipe and no more. Who? Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I... I don't understand. Why are you here? Uh, walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. Full synchronization. And it looks like we're going into the next mission. Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him. The soldier. State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How'd you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Brad. When I'm not attending to you, of course. Follow Lee to Pitcairn's position. Pitcairn, you fool! Your acts are treacherous. Give me one good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your if arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> ho! By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Haytham. General Braddock? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. 
Master Pit Ken won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? They'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. As luck would have it, so are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Reddick's patrol and lure them into a dead end. One second, I'm actually kind of curious. What happens when you go to these individuals? Wait, all tires in here? Nice. Okay. I was just curious. No. Its residents are too content. More of Lynn or Ship Street. Yes. Those fresh arrived are often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize upon an opportunity to fatten their purses and feed their young. Alright, we're still tailing the patrol. It's so cool how they added little animations like when you walk up to these. They'll like actually pick up the food and like try it. That's a little depth of world building and immersion. Jeez, Charles. <laughs> it's like, gotta be sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. He run, keeps running to all the alleys to put his head around the corner. to ambush the patrol. Ugh. Unhand him, Edward. Uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitcairn with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains.
Who called in reinforcements? Huh? <laughs> Is that him? I stay my hand today because you were once my brother and a better man than this. Or should our paths ever cross again? All debts will be forgotten. You're free now, John. Traitor! Go on then. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying, I assume broken, you've good reason for causing all this madness. What is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. <laughs> Still going off. Nice. Well, that is some more progress right there. Um, all right, hold on for like two minutes here, chat. I'm going to uh, run to the bathroom and everything, and then we will continue. So I'm going to put on my BRB screen real quick.
Okay, chat. Back. Sorry, I had to, to do some stuff there. But we are good to go. There we are. Go ahead and run the next mission. Gentlemen, I believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. Oh, do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. We enter Silas' fort under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then. Let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. <clears throat> One sec, chat. Convoy should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. In today's Boston up the weapon what the hell is this a, a thousand pardons sirs Seems we've had ourselves an unhappy little accident. Get it sorted, and quickly. Of course, my lord. At once. Attack! Serve as vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? You must be rather important to him if you were given your own escort. Sir, we have enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of them. As you wish. I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. Ah. 
I love sequences like this where you go undercover. Where like you can uh see all the assassins. Engage the enemy. Engage the enemy. It's so hard to see with this camera. It's like very zoomed in on everything we do. Goddamn dogs. Let no man reach us. Looks like you're to meet the reaper. Of course. Only say the word and I'll cut them down. One moment then. Me and you. Engage the enemy. Looks like you're to meet the Reaper. Damn. They take them down quick. All clear. Like, very quick. gentlemen state your business delivery for silas go on then see i'm freeing you just as i said i would now if you'll allow me to explain let her go but she'll give us away. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? He dies. I'd know when you're ready to strike. Is the like camera bugged or something? Is there a way for me to move the camera? Uh, let me check the options. Center camera C. Does one, two, three, or four do anything? No. Rather make these one, two, three, four. Greetings. How fares the watch? Who are you? Thomas Smith, newly recruited. Arrived from London just last week, in fact. And you ought to patrol with us. So said Silas. Hmm. I assume it's all rather straightforward. Watch for disturbances. Ensure order is maintained. Hmm. Merchandise? If you don't know, you don't need to. Just do as you've been told and stay out of my way. Of course. Read the captives. I must say, 
Uh oh. Can you even tell which ones are the captains and which ones aren't? Like, hard to tell. Unless if maybe you see his helmet or his hat beforehand. Yep, I can see the captain right there. We grab onto the side. All right, climb up. Go. Up. Come on. Get up there. Really? Can't climb up at all? We'll try this side. There you go. I'll wait until that guy turns around. Shoot. Really? Damn it. I didn't think that he was going to get detected when I jumped. I mean, I knew it was going to kind of be close, but I didn't think it was going to be that close. Can we get onto the boat without being like super suspicious, I wonder? free for me tardiness and Carter had me working late. You know Carter? <laughs> well, Set them free quick. Nice. What? I just set them free and I got Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good. How? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free? It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess. Seal the fort, kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse. Am I understood? Push them back. 
Uh, oh, human shield. Assassinate Silas. Where did you receive your training? Did you receive your training? Oh my god. Fight him now. Take position, men. Ready? He's here. Stop the interloper. Then Kill the intruders. Jeez. I could use some help. Back, you vile pops. He's the one responsible. Rich. Kill him. The order. Got him. Who are you? Name's <clears throat> Hatham Kenway. You don't know me, but I believe the two of you are well acquainted. I made a promise to you, Cyrus. One I intend to keep. Fantastic. What happens now? We wait. But not for very long, I suspect. Infiltrating Southgate. <laughs> we missed a lot of those objectives, but that's all right. Memory sequence to complete. It's been several weeks now since we freed the Mohawk prisoners from captivity. This game makes me I want to play uh, Hold Fast or War of Rights. I haven't played either and in a very long time. Restless. They want to know what comes next, and I do not have an answer. Lee alone remains active, pursuing leads, however slight. He stalks the city streets and scouts the bordering woods, hopeful that he might make contact with one of those we saved. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have my answers. So, I watch and wait, hopeful that my true mission might finally begin. Boston, 1755. Charles, any luck finding our mystery woman? Word is she's been stirring up trouble just outside the city in a town called Lexington. Well, then that's where we'll begin our search. I'll meet you there. All right, let's make our way there then. Our health is still regenerating. I guess from combat we had a while ago. I, I kind of like that health bar that we have in the corner. It's a good one.
King's Chapel. How far away is this? Eesh. That's all the way on the other side of the map, I guess. We can't, like, fast travel over there, right? Uh, oh, we can fast travel right here. Oh, this is the first one where they actually add, like... I don't know if it's the, um... The area? Or, I mean, the, um, the remaster that adds the fast travel, or if it's the actual, um... The game itself that added it. Travel to the frontier. Oh, called in our horse, I guess. Entering Lexington. It's hard to tell where the official roads are. Peace. Come on, the horse. Come on, Roach. <laughs> the horse is like freaking out a little bit. We're almost there. Oh my god. Almost. Here we are. Unconvinced. Have you found her? She's made camp not too far from here. Excellent. Well, the sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this cold. Found a horse to continue. We'll move faster on horseback. I am afraid I have some bad news, sir. Oh? Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I've tried to beg off to no avail. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming we gave him. Do as he asks. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. <laughs> We're too late. Fire's only just been snuffed. Snow recently disturbed. She's close. Bollocks. The tracks are fresh. It must be hers. Seems she took to higher ground. Out of the snow and into the trees. Find the mysterious woman. Is it this tracks? These? I remember always being amazed by these uh, snow graphics, even for, especially for its time. Ubisoft snow graphics have always been good though, especially recently with uh, Riders Republic and um, other games. Oh, there she is. And uh, Steep, too. <laughs> and Bully Wait, McGuire. Yeah. Love the name. Love it. Wait, 
Come back! Do you return to Braddock, Charles, before he grows suspicious? I can handle things from here. But, sir! But nothing! Go! Stop running! I only wish to talk! I am not your enemy! Please just hear me out! God's woman! Only let me speak! Sorry, Wolf. Where did she go? Where did she go? Oh, there she is. You try my patience, woman. in the head me Haytham I come in peace why are you speaking so slow <laughs> sorry what do you want well your name for one I'm Gudzi Zio well, pleased to meet you God God's day just call me Zio Dio Zio Dio. Now tell me why it is you're here. Where did you get this? From an old friend. I've only seen such markings in one other place. Where? Well, it is forbidden for me to speak of it. I saved your people. Does this mean nothing to you? Look, I am not the enemy. Close to here, there is a hill. Meet me there, and we'll see if you speak the truth. There's a hill nearby? Yo, what's going on, Sim Pro player? How you doing? That town hosts soldiers and you who seek to drive my good. people from these lands. Trying to They're led make by a man known as the progress Bulldog. in uh, Assassin's Creed 3. Edward Braddock. You know him? He is no friend of mine. Every day, more of my people are lost to men like him. Then I suggest we put a stop to it. Together. What do you propose? That we kill Edward Braddock. She likes it. But first, <laughs> we have to find him. Yeah, feel free to fall. Appreciate it. I don't trust you. <laughs> I know. Yet you remain. That, that prove you wrong. song works perfect with them. So you Feeling the love. So I know. Thank you for the follow, though. Appreciate that. Wait here. A Mohawkman is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. I hope so.
No worries. Can't stand being quartered there. The endless crashing of the waves, the sting of the salt in my eyes, and the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. Graphics of the game of this game are the best. They really are pretty good, surprisingly. That's what they're calling them. I mean, it is the remaster version, but from my understanding, they didn't change much for PC. I think it's mainly just like lighting, um, and then like full all the content in the game. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to. No, no. I was trying to walk up to the wall, but I got too close to them. Ah, oh, I have to do it again. Can't stand being quartered there. The endless crashing of the waves, the sting of the salt in my eyes, and the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The bulldogs putting together another expedition. That's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. I really have to stay low in here. Two. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. I hear tell the French are ready to move on our positions. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before weeks end. Leave the tavern. Oi! Where are you going, Cully? Me? No. The other walk. cock robin. Well, I, uh, I was leaving. Oh, and now? Well, now, I'm going to feed you your teeth. And you were worried I was going to be the problem? <laughs> Oh, I forgot this game added environment uh, takedowns. Love it. This guy's like stuck. Braddock's camp when you're ready. Oh my god, every time, every time I go to <laughs> I always go to right click to run and I end up pulling out my pistol because I'm so used to the previous Assassin's Creeds. It doesn't matter what you think! Hey Pavel. Thank you for the uh, the follow there. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Also, welcome. Just to let you guys know, uh, all my previous Assassin's Creed playthroughs have been on uh, YouTube as well. So if you want to check out any of the previous ones within like the last two weeks, they're all up there parts uh they're typically it only takes about three parts for each game so far i think there there might be one that has four but i've played through assassin's creed one two uh brotherhood and i just finished revelations earlier today i have to do the revelation on on my ps3 i just completed revelations earlier today actually 
I've been playing them one one by one. And I uh, still plan on going through uh, most likely Assassin's Creed 4 and Rogue. Um, I might take a break at some point from Assassin's Creed next week. But aside from that, I mean, we're still full force uh, into the game for further progress. So we will see. I'm excited. I've been excited to play this game again. And honestly, playing it today, getting it started has been uh, pretty good. We're not going to be going too much longer today. Uh, but there's still a little bit more time left. Uh, my goal is to finish up by uh, pretty much majority of Haytham segments. Uh, because, yeah, where I, I'm pretty sure we're, we're kind of close to that. But we'll see. Let's keep on running up here. There she is. Execution is everything. Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Zeal. Having second thoughts? Hardly. But I'll have to approach this carefully. Go on then. I'll keep watch from here. Very well. Red zones on the mini map are militarized. Guards inside will attack you as soon as they see I you. Can hide in that cart. Go quick, quick, quick. I don't think we're gonna make it. We might. We Welcome made it. Back. I need a full inventory. As you wish. Uh, let's see. Two barrels of salt. Twelve pounds of pork. Ten pounds of beef. Seven dozen eggs. Sixteen wheels of cheese. None of it French. Don't worry. Five bottles of whiskey, a couple dozen new uniforms, boots, a leather for patching, blankets to cart feed for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. Damn. A lot of uh, stuff in here. I mean, honestly, it kind of looks a little empty, though. <laughs> Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. John Fraser. Eavesdrop on the officers. I don't know where to get out. And I guess right here is as better than any. Good news. General Braddock refused the offer. There will be no truce. Damn it. Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable. Wait, that's conflict, George Washington? One in which they'd now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't fit well with me either. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. Guys, really guarding this thing. Not a very good guard, though. Escape the fort. Can we get out through any side? Let's try going out the same way we came in. Unless
How do we get out? Come on, I hate them. Think of a way out, man. Would he be ready to leave? No, <laughs> maybe not. <gasps> Shoot. Oh God. Oh no. Wait, can I just run past them or do I have to not be spotted anymore? Uh oh. Okay, I'm running. No! It didn't say don't be detected anymore, though. It didn't say that. It just said escape the fort. Why does it matter if we're just running? Ay, 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 ay. All right. I'll try again. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. I mean, yeah. But it's not really required to. Uh oh. Oh, hey. I mean, honestly, I, at this rate, I could have sabotaged the other one, too. Speak with Zeal. There she is. What news? Braddock has left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush them here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike. Execution is everything. Another one complete. There's really not a, yeah. There's no fast travel point over here. That sucks. Is there a main road that we can at least get to? Kind of. We'll have to cross the water. Do we have a... I don't think we have a horse to call in. I might have to change the, uh, <laughs> the thumbnail for this video because it's all... But uh, I hate them. I always forgot how, how much of him that you actually play.
There we go. Back on the main road now. On the road again. On the road again. We don't have, we really don't have a horse or anything. But it wouldn't be in our weapon wheel, right? <gasps> Wait, it is. No way. <laughs> Yeah, some areas you just need to make sure you stay on the road. Because otherwise, it's just going to be a pain. Horse stamina. Smount. Here we go. Five months later. The right tavern. The cold, cold ground. Here, here. Hard at work, I see. How did you? <laughs> it is time. We've set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen, let us away. Let us away. First it was too cold. Now it's too goddamn hot. And humid Braddock expedition. Warm, I tell you. Uh, to say nothing of the mosquitoes. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. Environment of this game reminds me a lot of Red Dead Redemption what? 2. You mean the bulldog? <laughs> Please. We'll be in that one. I need to go back to that enough, game to again. Next. Where's your boy Lee gone off to? Returned to finish out his service under Braddock. I imagine the Bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Please to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He has a way with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Precisely. Unless you've underestimated our enemy. If I have, Charles will sense it first and make it. I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes. United in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? Will you help the others to prepare? Follow. They come. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means we need more land. The French understand this and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances. Awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. 
This is why we ride. To offer them one last chance. The French will leave. Or they will die! Now is the time to strike. Wait. To scatter the expedition is not enough. We must ensure that Braddock falls. Else he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. We await your signal. There, in front of us. I'm stuck. Hey, thank you for stopping by. Appreciate you uh, hanging out and chatting. Man, the amount of times that we keep dressing ourselves oh my god. We keep dressing ourselves up as the uh the red coats. <laughs> it's a lot. Ride to Braddock's position. Have served, you mean, sir? You are grateful to. Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Look out! Sir. Where After are him. You off to it? Get back here, Edward. So many bodies being thrown. All right, we need to reload again. There it is. I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is. The oh, it end is George of Washington. You. Washington. Don't. Hurry before he gets away. I said go! Damn. <laughs> I don't deserve this. Oh my god, I would miss. You're a hypocrite, Hatham. I'm sorry, Edward. But you forced my hand. Get back here to you. Ah! 
<laughs> we kicked him right in the face, and that was his assassination. Why, Hatham? Nice. Your death opens a door. It's nothing personal. Well, maybe it is a little personal. Been a pain in my ass after all. But we are brothers in arms. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered, and for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, I concur. Farewell, Edward. It's done. Now I have upheld my part of the bargain. I expect that you will honor yours. Follow me. Ah, it's the same tomb. Okay. No. No. You seem disappointed. I thought that I held a key that would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more. What do they mean? It tells the story of your Zizu. ...who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey... ...fraught with great loss and peril. But she believed in her children... ...and what they might achieve. And though she has long gone from the physical world... ...her eyes still watch over us... ...her ears still hear our words... ...her hands still guide us... ...and... ...her love still gives us strength. You've shown me great kindness, dear. Thank you. I... I should go. The Braddock Expedition complete. They love keep uh, they love to tell us that uh kill streak thing every time. A few days later. Master Kenway. Did you find it then? It was not the right place. The others are waiting for you. Gentlemen, please sit. I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts and expand our order and establish a permanent base here. Although the sight eludes us, I am confident we will find it. Truth. 
Here, here. Furthermore, I believe it is time we welcome Charles into our fold. He has proven himself a loyal disciple and served unerringly since the day he came to us. He should be able to share in our knowledge and reap all the benefits that such a gift implies. Are any opposed? Very well. Charles, come, stand. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together, we will usher in the dawn of a new world, one defined by purpose and order. Give me your hand. You are a Templar. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father of Understanding guide us. Guide us. Guide us. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? And that's, dude, I remember that when playing the original, uh, for the first time being like, wait, what? We were playing as a Templar that whole time? It's such a crazy intro, that, right? but it's pretty cool. Wow. Wow, indeed. The key must be the amulet Haytham took from London. We might know what it looks like, but we're no closer to finding it. Desmond, you need to keep going. Hey, he's your ancestor too. Why don't you hop in the Animus? Really? That's your response. It's like dealing with a six-year-old. What is wrong with you, Desmond? You want to know what's wrong? I'm sick of being treated like I'm not even here. Desmond, do this. Desmond, do that. Desmond, you better figure things out because the sun is going to turn us all to ash. And I know I was really nice to you, but actually I'm just another Templar plot twist. And yes, I would like very much for you to be controlled by a magic space wizard so that you can murder me. So there's your answer. I'm sick of being a goddamn pawn. I thought it might be different with you. I mean, you're my father, but turns out you're no better than the fucking Templars. <sighs> Don't you ever equate me to those bastards again. You hear me? Everything I do, everything I have done, has been for you. Maybe I pushed a little too hard, asked a little too much, but try and remember exactly what's at stake here. You need to get it together, kid. We're running out of right. time. Right, was unusual. Well, I'm just gonna pretend that this never happened and get back to bringing everyone up to speed on where we stand. The news isn't good. It appears this temple is powered by a collection of, um, well, I guess they're batteries. You found one on your way in, but there aren't any more, at least not down here. Any idea on where we can find replacements? Not yet, so I intend to tiptoe into the Abstergo database. Now, if I can cross-reference these particular devices with their database, then maybe we'll get lucky. See what you can do. Obviously. Anyway, Desmond, you can either take a look around here or we can head back to the Animus. Nice. Okay, chat. I think I'm going to chill here for today uh, because that's pretty much all of Haytham's storyline for, for now at least. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be on tomorrow just yet, potentially, but not 100% sure. If I'm not, then I will be back on Monday, uh, 6.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern time is typically when I go live. Uh, and yeah, at that point, we will pick up right where we're at. Um, if not, like I said, I might be on tomorrow. We'll see. But uh, it's Castus Plays on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, Discord, TikTok, pretty much everything so if you guys want to come through feel free definitely leave a like on the youtube video if you did enjoy this stream and subscribe as well for more and other than that i will see you all next time and thank you again and peace out